Good day to you everyone, my name is Agnes Koh. I'm a lifestyle advocate and image consultant. How many of us entertain with poise with your dignitaries in a fine dining place such as English afternoon tea? The history of English afternoon tea was originated by Duchess of Bedford Anna back in 1600. So back in the palace, dinner was served at 8 p.m. So between 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., Duchess was always hungry. So what the butler did was to prepare some light delights, some pastries, some scones to help her to tie over her hunger span before dinner. So over time, when she felt that you know she has to die alone, so she started to invite all her high society friends, where everyone would gather together to have a nice afternoon delights. So join me as I take you to an English afternoon tea etiquette. Come on now. So welcome to English afternoon tea. So how do we start off with uh, taking our afternoon tea? Very easy. First of all, you just need the napkins. So you need to just place your napkins on your laps. Usually for afternoon tea, um, the napkins is in square, right? Now basically all you need to do is just place the napkins on your laps, all right? And then next, stand by your fork and your knife with you so I would suggest you place your fork and knife by the side okay now the next thing before you approach your food would be your tea all right so you can pour your tea by placing your fingers on top of your teapot cover and gently just pull the tea up and when you want to take your tea all right all you need to do is just bring the cup towards you now without the baby finger sticking out okay now rest your wrist on the edge of the table and now look at the tea and sip the tea and place it very nicely onto the plate uh, in the traditional english afternoon tea it normally comes with a tree tail but for today contemporary table setting uh, it usually lay out in a, in a full tables like this all right now when you're given an array of food like this uh, how would you approach your food first so this is where culture traditions and values comes in and also heritage comes in um, I would normally start off with my sandwich first on the second tier it will be your scones yeah and on the top tiers it will be the sweets all right so usually the hots and savouries will always follow together with your sandwich for sandwich you can eat with your fork and knife or you can also eat with just your fingers here you are if you're given a uh, setup like this you know with a scones as well as uh, the clotted cream and the jam and the butter scones are normally either served with uh, raisin scones or just a plain scones now how do you eat the scones when it is served in such manner right so all you need to do is just position the jam and the butter by the side to your left right and then you pick up your scones Either you want to pick it up with uh, your hands, okay, or you can use your knife, alright, to cut it open. Either you want to have an open face, or you can just um, separate them. Uh, that's a tradition of uh, whether to serve the clotted cream first or to serve the jam first. Now, uh, in today's context, uh, there is not much of a difference. I will just uh, start off with uh, placing my clotted cream on top of your scones and then followed by my jam all right so when you need to eat just place your knife on your plate you can eat in small pieces like that or you can take the whole piece it's very much up to you now assuming if you need to rest your cutleries and you need to exchange your conversations all you need to do is position your cutleries your fork and a knife in a five o'clock and a seven o'clock position upon finishing you can position your fork and a knife together now into a six o'clock position 
Now we have come to an end of the English afternoon tea and I hope you have enjoyed this very short introductions on English afternoon tea. My name is Agnes Cole. Feel free to join us on any of our events. Thank you and see you. Bye. basic business and social etiquette would be number one punctuality always be on time and always arrive 15 minutes earlier to pick up your dignitaries or to meet your dignitaries number two dress appropriately do not show up with your sandals or your sneakers or even shorts so always dress up in a business professional outfit when it comes to meeting your dignitaries or even in a social gathering at least a smart casual outfit Number three, conversational topics. Now, when it comes to business entertainment, try not to go into the business topics right away. Try to build up rapport by asking your dignitaries how's their day going, how the family doing, and how are they settling into the livelihood here in Singapore. Always remember, networking is simply starting a conversation with no destination in mind. So moving right into the business conversations, you can always ask about, you know, what are your dignitaries excited about? You know, what are the projects that uh, he or she is looking at? And what are the things and the plans that he or she has in mind? So this will take you on into the next serious conversation. Try to focus on positive message and keep the negative ones to a minimum. And always focus and help your dignitary in all ways that you can to deliver a positive outcome in this meeting. Lastly, always maintain your poise, authenticity and sincerity. Always stay in your true self when it comes to meeting everyone, not just an important person. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the session with me. This is Agnes Cole here. For more information, please log on to etiquetteimageint.com. See you again. Bye.